my dear friends a hearty welcome to each one of you for this holy eucharist of love today we are going to pray for people who are in need of various miracles in their lives people who want healing people who want jobs people who want something new to happen in their lives let us pray through the intercession of saint john bosco the founder of salations of don bosco and those who hold him as their patron let us seek for his intercession in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear friends today being the feast of saint john bosco let us pray for all the salvations in the world they who have dedicated their lives through him through the congregation to reach out to the people with the wisdom and knowledge of god attending to the building up of the youth in the society the wonderful works which they have already done may the lord assist the congregations and grant them great vocations so that they may be able to continue the work that don bosco has started with the vision and mission which he intended dear brothers and sisters in order to partake in this holy eucharist let us call to mind all our sins and our failures let us ask the lord's pardon and mercy together i confess to, to almighty, almighty god, god and to you my brothers my sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what have i done what have i failed to do through my fault through my fault through my fault through my, through my, fault, through my, through my most grievous fault Then therefore I ask, I ask blessed Mary, Mary the virgin, virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to lord our god. god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us Lord our God that we may honor you with all our mind just as St John Bosco did and love everyone in truth of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel, chapter fifteen, verses thirteen to fourteen, verse thirty, chapter sixteen, verses five to thirteen. A messenger came to tell David, the hearts of all. The men of Israel are now with Absalom. So David said to all his officers who were with him in Jerusalem, "Let us be off; let us fly, or we shall never escape from Absalom. Leave as quickly as you can, in case he mounts a surprise attack and worsts us and puts the city to the sword." David then made his way up the mount of olives weeping as he went his head covered and his feet bare and all the people with him had their heads covered and made their way up 
weeping as they went as david was reaching bahurim out came a man of the same clan as saul's family his name was shimei son of gera and as he came he uttered curse after curse and threw stones at david and at all king david's officers though the whole army and all the champions flagged the king right and left the words of his curse were this be off be off man of blood scoundrel the lord has brought on you all the blood of the house of saul whose sovereignty you have usurped and the lord has transferred that same sovereignty to absalom your son now your doom has overtaken you man of blood that you are abishai son of jeroi said to the king is this dead dog to curse my lord the king let me go over and cut his head off but the king replied what business it is of mine and yours son of jerua let him curse if the lord said to him curse david what right has any one to say why have you done this david said to abishai and all his officers why my own son sprung from my body is now seeking my life so now how much the more this benjaminite let him curse if the lord has told him to perhaps the lord will look on my misery and repay me with good for his curse today so david and his men went on their way the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm arise lord save me my god arise lord save me my god how many of my foes o lord how many are rising up against me how many are saying about me there is no help for him in god your response arise lord save me my god but you lord are a shield about me my glory who lift up my head i cry aloud to the lord he answers from his holy mountain your response arise lord save me my god i lie down to rest and i sleep i wake for the lord upholds me i will not fear even thousands of people who are ranged on every side against me your response arise lord save me my god gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia your word is truth o lord consecrate us in the truth alleluia the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark glory to you o god chapter 5 verses 1 to 20 jesus and his disciples reached the country of the gerasenes on the other side of the lake And no sooner had he left the boat than a man with an unclean spirit came out from the tombs towards him. The man lived in the tombs and no one could secure him any more. Even with a chain because he had often been secured with fetters and chains. but had snapped the chains and broken the fetters and no one had the strength to control him all night and all day among the tombs and in the mountains he would 
howl and gash himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up and fell at his feet and shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? Swear by God you will not torture me. For Jesus had been saying to him, Come out of the man, unclean spirit. What is your name? Jesus asked. My name is Legion. He answered, For there are many of us. And he begged him earnestly not to send them out of the district. Now there was there on the mountainside a great herd of pigs feeding. And the unclean spirits begged him, Send us to the pigs, let us go into them. So he gave them leave. With that the unclean spirits came out and went into the pigs, and the herd of about two thousand pigs charged down the cliff into the lake, and there they were drowned. The swine herds ran off and told their story in the town and in the country round about. And the people came to see what had really happened. They came to Jesus and saw the demoniac sitting there, clothed and in his full senses. The very man who had had the lesion in him before and they were afraid. And those who had witnessed it reported what had happened to the demoniac and what had become of the pigs. Then they began to implore Jesus to leave the neighborhood. And he was sitting into the boat. The man who had been possessed begged to be allowed to stay with him. Jesus would not let him, but said to him, Go home to your people and tell them all that the Lord in his mercy has done for you. So the man went off and proceeded to spread throughout the Decapolis all that Jesus had done for him. And everyone was amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, an amazing story, an incident that happened in the life of a man who must have been held by chains and fetters tight must have been very aggressive and difficult to handle. Man living at the graveyards and in the tombs, how scary it can be to the people around, the children and all those who passed by. Jesus, when he comes across this man, or rather when this man with the demoniac comes across Jesus, opens his mind wide and calls out to Jesus, have you come to torture me or torture us? Jesus gives him a mild reply. What are you doing here? What is your name? And he says, I am a legion. These are not just biblical stories. These are events and happenings, even that happen today in our lives. There are so many people even today who are possessed and hold on to these legions. And we need the spiritual power to heal them. And who can do this healing? Everyone who is baptized can lay hands 
call upon the spirit that is given to you deep within and you can dry out the devil, the evil spirit. Jesus has given this power to each one of us, the power of this spirit. In our families, our elders can do it. Our priests, of course, can do it. But all the baptized must execute this ministry. And further, when Jesus encounters this person and he gets to know that there are many, many, many of them They thought he is going to destroy them. And he says, don't destroy us. Allow us to dwell in the pigs. And about 2,000 pigs that were around as a herd, Jesus asked them to take leave. They get into the pigs. The pigs run into the water, into the lake, and then they are drowned. The worst part of the story here is that people who want Jesus to leave the neighborhood because they had seen this man very ferocious, aggressive and this man for them today can be seen as a cool, calm and a healed person. Probably because their pigs may have been destroyed, probably, or they don't want any good to happen. But a few of them were amazed to see the wonder that Jesus had performed. The man who got healed went round spreading the news that Jesus has healed him. But instead of becoming everything good for Jesus, it was becoming bad for him. It was becoming difficult for him. People, instead of taking this healing good, they were taking it for bad. They began to question Jesus gradually. But my dear friends, being Christians, we have to do this ministry of healing. It is our work. So Jesus, by his actions, he tells us that there are legions who dwell in our midst, who disturb our functioning, who disturb the humanness and human nature that needs a prayerful support laying of hands by the faithful and to eradicate all the evil that remains in the society and in our individuals. So let us pray today asking the Lord to heal the world, to remove the demoniac, to remove the evil that is there in ourselves in the society, and especially the virus that is killing humans. We ask our dear Lord to destroy it totally so that we all may live in peace, joy, happiness, and serving one another. Amen.
pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the prayer of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Derek our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, a spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, 
and found by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Pray to Mary, our Mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual, thanking our dear Mother for bringing graces to each one of us, in our families, healing to those who are sick. Dear Mother, we ask you to bring blessings upon those who are still not keeping well, those who will be undergoing surgeries these days, the poor, the needy, who need your assistance. Bless all those who are crying out to your son's aid. Let everyone be blessed. Bless our families with your love, peace, joy and serenity, we pray. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, may you have 
a wonderful day. May you be blessed with healing, especially those who are sick.